Hi guys, I'm Melissa Schumann. And I'm Ashley Poole. And you might recognize us from our group, Dream. Okay, well, I'm gonna start it off with September by Earth, Wind, and Fire because that is a classic. And it always makes me shake. I like Holiday by Madonna. I love the Immaculate album. It reminds me of the 80s. I'm an 80s child. And. Yeah. I love um, Outcast. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, everybody loves it. R. Kelly's. We're just calling it Hot and Fresh. Because <laughs> I don't even know if that's the, the, the actual title of the song. It's just because I want to sing it. Get it in. Hot and fresh up. Get it hot and fresh. I'm on rolling. I'm I don't even know the words, but we clearly I, I know them. Survivor. Survivor. You know, that's like women empowerment all day, you know? I'm a survivor. And go back and like relive the, the video. Yeah. It really is. It makes me go back to being on tour with them. Oh, yeah. You but know, it's all really cheesy. Moves. Like that early like 2000s pop. It's just right. Like the matching outfits. We cheese did that. We rock that. We did that. We did that. Um, ooh, Dirty Pop by NSYNC. Dirty Pop. It's a, it's a classic. Oh, Juan Del Rey, Summertime Sadness. Summertime. I know they played it to death, but I, it's still I my jam. Her. It's still my jam. I feel like Lana can do no wrong. She's like reaches into your soul. Yeah. Find your truth. I Want It That Way by Backstreet Boys. Okay. Another one of the young ones. It, this, is, this is a guilty pleasure. And you know what? I'm not the only one. I've seen grown men dance. Cry. And cry. No, but recently. Like with their kids. So this song, I can't... I, I'm gonna say it. Which now one? this one's never gonna get out of my head. What? As soon as it comes out. I'm so fancy. Oh, yeah. It's that so don't, don't, don't. Makes me want to booty pop. I can't. But it, I do it. He loves me, he loves you not. Oh yeah. I even still jam to it. Do you? Hand to God. I really do. My son sings it now. <sighs> he found a hit clip. Does anyone remember that? How about that for a throwback? Lightning round. Okay, so we're gonna divvy this up. I'm gonna interview Ashley. Ashley's gonna interview me. But these are the questions from from Fat Fit Fun. Are you checking to see what? No, I'm not. I'm just gonna go. How many do you have? I have. I have three. You have twelve. Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> taking <laughs> shut up. Here's this one. Okay. All right. All right. I go first. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay. Okay. We'll tell you. You look great. Okay. Great. Okay. You look. You look fab. Great and fit and fun. How do you start your songwriting process? Where do you get your inspiration from? Mm. Uh, my songwriting process is different every time because I am an energy person. So if there's a weird energy, I'm feeding off of that. If there's a good energy, a weird song. then it's a weird song. Do you normally um, write lyrics first or melody first? Melody. Really? Yeah, and I have like a concept usually in my head. And then you put the words in later. Yeah, and then that, like the words like will come to me and they'll be really clever and amazing. So your turn. Oh, it is my turn. Okay, hit me. So, when you're going on the road and touring, okay. what are your go-to snacks or food stops? This is an amazing question for you. Okay, well, this is going to be a major throwback because it's been a minute since I've been on tour and touring. Uh, but we'll see in the future. What food did you have? Back in the... God, what did I eat? Burgers Hot dog with no butter on the bun. Burgers with no butter on the bun? I don't remember that at all. Mm -hmm. Yep, tops. Like beef jerky... You love beef I jerky. love beef jerky. What's your guilty pleasure song? Oh, uh, I, don't, I'll, I, I'm a, I curse a lot. My guilty pleasure song is I Don't Fuck With You. It's if I get real hood in my car. And especially if I'm mad at someone. Who sings that? Did you make it up? I don't Sean. Okay, what are some exciting things coming up for you this year? Oh, well, we've got some exciting stuff with Dream. We're going to be doing, fans can expect some, some shows for sure, and new music. Get very excited about it. Um, other than that, I am in uh, post-production for my original web series, Actress is a Web Series. So funny. So Thank funny. You. It is um, an entirely improvised um you can find it on YouTube right now, but we shot it entirely in FaceTime um, mode, 
I guess it was inspired by uh, Lisa Kudrow's Web Therapy and uh, like HBO's The Comeback. Okay. Okay. Next question is the question that everybody needs to know: Backstreet Boys are in sync. In sync. <laughs> Boom. 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 And it's right. always been that way. But we love you, Backstreet Boys. And what we do. But like in sync. In sync had us on for three tours. Do you have any pre-performance rituals? Yes, I do. My pre-performance ritual used to be to listen to this really depressing Lifehouse song, because I was like really in my feelings. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It wasn't like a famous song, but it was really sad. And then um, I would kick all the girls out of the <laughs> back of the door bus, because I needed my space. And the girls being you guys. me, Ashley, and Diana. You, well, I'm Ashley. I mean... <laughs> you are? Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was Holly. <laughs> and um, then the girls and I would always do a prayer, and they were always really intense. Yeah, they like, were always it was really like intense. church, like on our knees. Dear Lord Jesus, please let this show go so good and let's touch lives. Yeah, but we were also very thankful for where we were. Very thankful. Yeah. So it was we were, every, yeah. every performance. It really was. We were so, it was just like amazing. Sweet. Okay. Oh, and then also, sorry, for the the preparation, we yeah. used to have a lot of Red Bull. Oh, that's true. We had like five Red Bulls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. not, that's not good when you're 16, trust me. <laughs> We're flying off the walls. Okay. <laughs> What's the most exciting thing your career has enabled you to do? What is the most exciting thing your career? Um, I would say, this is kind of like um, a little vague, but like traveling... We traveled a little bit overseas, but just being able to see all of America oh. and meet people and experience different cultures. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a really small town, so it was something like new for me to experience every day and mm -hmm. like open my mind to things. And yeah, cultures and like New York is one of my favorite cities because I just feel like it's the true melting pot, and everyone is just, in my opinion, not judgmental there and. Mm -hmm. And welcoming and like you know you just yeah. learn and you're open minded and so that to me is probably one of the highlights. What would you say? For I think for me, what I enjoy the most is um, getting to um, inspire people and encourage people and be mm -hmm. like a source of inspiration in that sense. Like that's what I like love about yeah. it is. Um, it's not about me because I, I love performing, mm -hmm. you know, for an audience, but I also like to see, you know, the fans go pursue their dreams. And, yeah, and totally. To feel like you're part of that. Yeah, but you know, because we were inspired by artists, you know. Yeah. And, so, yeah. yeah. So, thanks for having us. This was really fun. Thank you. We had a blast. And stay tuned with Dream Stuff yeah, yeah. in the future. Check and us out. We have a Twitter. Our Twitter is. Dream, dream Girl Group. The Dream Girl Group. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing on Instagram. We also have a Facebook. You'll know you found ours when you see the little blue check by it. And uh, and then, of course, we have our individual accounts. So, yes. Yeah. But come, come on, Fazio.